Hopefully, uh, for Bulldog fans, he can continue that tonight. Here we go, Bulldogs and Fighting Hawks, game one of two here in Duluth this weekend. This is Blake. We talked about him in the open. You know, down by two. Smith cuts the puck off here at the half boards for UMD. He scored his first collegiate goal in that tie last Saturday night. Wraparound chance turned aside by Person. Blake on the near side in the circle has a step, a centering pass, and Thiessen has to be sharp there. A bouncing puck. Jackson Blake almost threw it. Offensive zone faceoff after the icing for UMD, but North Dakota wins it. They slide it ahead. This is James, the Red Wings prospect, fires it in on Thiessen and follows up on the rebound. Blake has it. Back to the point. Pearson, long shot, pad save, Thiessen, rebound, free in the slot. It's cleared away by Spicer. Spicer, the Grand Forks native. We've been told a lot of Spicer family in the building for tonight's games. Nothing official, but 50 was a number that was thrown a lot of formidable. And, and North Dakota's always deep anyway, so going to be fun to watch some of these names that we haven't seen before. Perron chips it in from the blue line. Gallatin back to play it for UMD. Takes a big hit from Berg. Dubinsky now turns it over. Out in front, Perron, he scores! Right on cue, Jaden Perron, and North Dakota leads it 1-0. Yeah, no sooner are we talking about him. You know, unbelievable play, finishes it, and... Uh, just, you know. As the Fighting Hawks up in the first period, 1-0 on My9 Sports, the gray TV network. Strindon has it back now in the far corner to the point. Long shot off the pads of Thiessen and directed to the near boards. UMD reeling a bit in its own zone. Perkins will clear. And not far enough for Icings. Molik will have to play it. Smolik starts out ahead for McLaughlin. Philadelphia Flyers draft pick into the UMD zone. Gives back for Britt. He walks into the high slot. He scores. Logan Britt doubles the lead. North Dakota up two to nothing. Tried to bang it off the wall and out to the blue line. Can't get it past the check. And now it comes back to the near side. Johannes walks in. Centering pass to the backhand. It goes to the far side and up to the point, held by Gallatin toward the net. That, again, wide for UMD. A little bit of energy from those two Mangini hits for the Bulldogs. But here comes the second unit. Gaber to Blake. Far side circle, McLaughlin. Pike, a long shot. Thiessen makes the save. Blake tried to sweep it toward the middle. Schmaltz has it, leaves for Livanovich. Long shot, it pinballs around in front, saved by Thiessen, swept out to the far side. We're back to five on five as Biondi is released. Some exciting moments there at the end of the North Dakota power play, but UMD survives. Two and a half minutes to go in the opening period. Nice job by Pierce on the shot block there, and a good job by Thiessen, uh, you know, fighting through traffic and making some big stops. Nick Meneman now, through center ice, it's Biondi. He'll flip it in and be the one to give chase. 2.15 to play in the opening 20 minutes. Perkins, the takeaway, walks in. Save made, the rebound out in front and cleared away by North Dakota's Dylan James. They flip it into the UMD side of the ice. Turnover now at the line. Jamernick down low. Centering pass now. A toe save by Thiessen. And the shot, the rebound, they score. I'm not sure how it went in. Louis Jamernick, though, celebrates. I think it'll be his goal. And it's 3-0 North Dakota. Oh, this one went in either, Zach. Looking at home here on the replay, puck goes up. Looks like it was batted out of air from 27. It looked, it looked to me like it was probably below the crossbar. After you, the call on the ice confirmed. That call on the ice confirmed, a good goal for North Dakota. Olsen near boards, Gallatin at the point. Far side, that's Steves. He walks in in the circle, save made. Spicer at the rebound, couldn't get good wood on it. And Steves has it in the corner. To each other to do things the right way. Thanks, Cody. Good luck in the second. Thank you. Guys. Yeah, thanks, Alexis. Pretty pointed words there from assistant coach Cody Chupp. But UMD again fortunate that Blake couldn't corral that puck very cleanly. He would have been in from the blue line in as a long shot from Weeb is corralled by Matthew Thiessen. The pace picks up here midway through the second period as we start to go end to end. 
Bouncing puck, Steves can't corral. To the far side, Gaber, one-timer, great save by Matthew Thiessen. Number six is who they're looking for. He's got six power play goals. That's tied for most in the country to this point. He wanted to fire that one, thinks better of it. Now he walks in, tipped in front, they score! Quinn Olsen, a power play goal, and the Bulldogs are on the board, it's three to one. And of course, Steve's not a one-trick pony, just a shooter, he can make the he can make plays, and a beautiful feed out front. You know, but again, this game's well within reach. Low Heights power play goal in the second period gives the Bulldogs some hope as we start the third. Johannes just inside the UMB line. Final 15 seconds here. Takeaway ahead for Spicer. Spicer, the breakaway to the backhand. Saved by Person. Defended by Zmolik to the point. Pionk. Far side Pierce. Tried to fire. Comes to Mangini. He scores. What a bounce for UMB. Anthony Mangini has the Bulldogs within one. It's three to two. And it he got a fortunate bounce. Uh, and it lands right to Mangini, but. I gotta tell you, Pierce has had a really solid game tonight. It's great to see him get rewarded on that one. And they're within one shot at a tie hockey game. Olsen in the circle, drives wide, centers to low height, saved by Person. Low height didn't get much on the redirect. Tied up in the corner. It pops free now. This is Spicer for UMD. His pass behind Olsen. Turnover now. Berg, a fiery scores! Cameron Berg. Icing on the cake, a power play goal. North Dakota's gonna hold on for the NCHC win here in Duluth. You know, a beautiful goal by Berg. He buried it and made no mistake about it. And the wrong guy you wanna give the puck to, but. Uh... A valiant effort for the home team, but North Dakota wins it four to two. The final here on Friday night.